Welcome to the tutorial on base conversion by WordX8. Base conversion is um, taught in discrete math, but it can have several different implications, and it's a pretty useful thing overall. Um, I posted this tutorial on my website in written form, so if you want to see that, you can either of these links you can type them in the URL, um, or you can look at the video description and get it get the URL there. Here's some background information. First of all we are base 10 so if you see a number if you just see a plain number with no base you can assume it's base 10 otherwise it's a number is going to be written as the number and then in subscripts to be the base so for instance 10 10 10 base 2 you write it this way you say it this way now one major thing about different bases is the value of each digit in base 10 the largest number you can have is 9 and you get that because you do 1 minus the base so base 10 10 minus 1 is 9 the largest value an individual base can be is 9 so for instance base 3 could have 2222 is going to be um, like one of the largest possible ones you could do is 2 for that base now if a digit is worth more than base minus 1 then you have to you have to carry that value over the next digit so like adding where you have like 9 plus 1 you carry it over the next digit 10 same thing base 3 if you add 1 to 2222 so it'd be 2223 this 3 would not be allowed so then you'd, you'd move the 3 over to here and you have 2 2 3 0 and then you keep on moving the 3 over so 2 2 2 2 plus 1 equals 10,000 um, now if you, have, if you have a digit that is worth more than 9 and the base allows it, then you start using capital alphabetical characters instead of numbers uh, for those digits if they're worth more than 9. And then in that case you'd use like A is worth 10, B is worth 11, etc. Now to get the value of a number, this is how you do it. You um, take the, the digit, so for instance this is 0, and this is 0, and you multiply that number by the base, base 2, base 2, and in the position of that digit. This right here is position 0. So you do 2 to the 0th power, which is going to give you 1. And then, so for instance, this, this number right here, 1, 1 times base 2 to the 1st power, position 1. And here's another example for base 10 and base A. At base A, position zero and it's zero. And also if you start doing decimal points point one, it's kind of the reverse. You go from zero to one here and you just go from zero to negative one. So uh, if it's like point zero one it'd be A to the negative two. So you start taking the position you subtract one from that. Um Here's, some, here's another example of uh, if you just add 1 to each case, what it's going to go to? So base 2 goes 0, 1, 10, 11, 100. Um, kind of gives you an example of where you'd go. Base 16, uh, once you start getting to 9, you go to A, B, C, D, and F, which is worth 15. When you add 1 to 15, you, get, you move over to the next decimal point, so you get 10. And now let's see you want to convert to base 10. That previous example where you'd seen the value of each digit. So for instance, the base 2 times its position 0. Now, here this is this is the uh the value of the individual place. So you could always do 1 times 2 to the 0th power, like right here, and you could add every single one of these up. And you can do this. Or you can do an alternative solution which is called the Horner rewrite. And what you do is you just write the number here. So 1010101 one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one you write the number here and then what you do is you take this number you take the number and you drop it down and it's go here, okay, 1, 1 and then what you do is you take the 1 and you move it over here and you do that number 1 times the base, so 1 times 2 and then what you do is you take the result of this place, which is 2, and you add it to the one above it so 0 plus 2 is 2 and they keep repeating this process where you take this 2 this 2 right here and you move it over here and you multiply it by the base. So you get 2 times 2, which is 4. 
plus the 1 gives you 5. And then you bring this 5 over here times 2, drop it down, etc. And so you pretty much keep on doing that and until you get over here. And so you have 42 times 2 plus 1, which is 84 plus 1, 85. And here is your result. So 10, 10, 10, 1, base 2 equals 85, base 10. And here's two different ways to do it. Let's see you want to convert from base 10. What you do is take the number, so 13, 207, base 10, and you write it here. So 13, 207. And then you, div and you do divide it by the base you're trying to convert to. Base 16, 16. And this is going to help you to organize this in a table. So just keep a table like me. So 13, 207, divided by 16 equals, and you want to record the result and the remainder. It's going to be very important. So keep this organized. Now let's say you divide the two and you get 825.4375. Now what you do is you just do 825. You keep the whole number, 825. And then you take the decimal point, which is 0.4375. And you just multiply this by the base to get the uh, remainder. In case you're doing this with a calculator and you're getting like a decimal, what you're going to get. So in this case, 13207 divided by 16 equals... 205 remainder 7. So you write down 205 remainder 7. And you just take this 205 and you move it down to this digit right here. And you repeat the process. 825 divided by 16 equals 51 remainder 9. And then you take the 51, you put it over here. 51 divided by 16, etc. And you keep on doing this until, in this case, you get 3, remainder 3. You drop down 3. 3 is less than 16. So when you divide 3 by 16, you're going to get 0 with a remainder of 3. When you notice that the 3 is less than 16, you know that you're done. And when you notice it's 0 before the remainder, you know you're done. So what you're going to do right here is you have all these remainders. And you just record this. This number right here is going to be the first digit of your result. You're going to do 3, 3, 9, 7 is your result. So that means that 13, 2, 7. 13207 base 10 equals 3397 base 16. And that's how you do that. Please like, comment, subscribe.